The SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus has been acquiring random mutations ever since it jumped from animals into humans. In recent weeks, several new variants on the original have been spotted. These appear to cause major changes in the way the virus acts, including how contagious it is. Early in this pandemic, you often would hear people say that coronaviruses don't evolve because they have lower mutation rates than many other viruses. And I think we can now say that's pretty clearly wrong. <laughs> the new variants have drawn comparisons to the influenza virus. Each year, vaccine makers have to switch up the flu vaccine to account for how that virus is mutated. It's not clear yet whether the same will be true of the coronavirus. Both the viruses have a high rate, flu is a little higher, of undergoing what we call these point mutations. So that's just substitution of one nucleotide by another. Um, but then they have another way in which they can vary. And that's kind of the viral sex um, <laughs> sort of way. And that it requires two viruses to be infecting the same cell. And flu has the segmented genome which means that they're just like these separate segments. And so you can get, when two viruses are infecting the same cell, um, when they start replicating, those gene segments can be repackaged so that effectively you've got gene segments from one virus and gene segments from another. SARS-CoV-2 is a little different from influenza genomically in the sense that uh, its genome is not segmented. You can get effectively more kind of elaborate patterns of recombination. And that is indeed what we're seeing. Take the spike protein a chain of amino acids that fold in a particular way to allow the virus to bind to cell receptors. In a variant isolated in the UK, a single change in the genetic code switched one amino acid for another. That mutation is called N501Y, and it made the protein fold in a slightly different way. That shift makes it fit just a little bit better into the receptor on human cell surfaces, like a key into a lock. When a person is sick with COVID-19, their immune system produces antibodies, most of which bind to the spike protein. The spike protein variants might make it a bit more difficult for these antibodies to bind, allowing the virus to live another day. The virus is just getting better at being a virus. The viruses that are going to grow better or spread better and people are going to be the ones that succeed. Now, most mutations don't do anything to the virus. In fact, a lot of these small changes are helpful to scientists who can track how the virus spreads by sequencing the variations in its genome. Because each virus or many viruses have unique patterns of mutations, it's a little bit like a fingerprint. We've actually been able, really for the first time in history, to track the real-time spread and evolution of SARS-CoV-2 as it moved around the planet, and then later as its different variants have started moving between different countries. That's why some variants have ended up becoming more common in some countries. In many places, the most common variant is the one that just happened to be carried by the first COVID-19 patients who entered that country. That variant spreads through the population and starts acquiring random mutations, making it very different from the most common coronaviruses in other countries. So when mutations like N501Y pop up independently on different continents and quickly become the dominant virus, that's a strong suggestion that the N501Y variant is helping the virus in some way. Some other mutations are even more concerning. Variants isolated in Brazil and South Africa contain a mutation called E484K, which appears to be very good at helping the virus evade the human immune system. This one seems like it might enable the virus to reinfect people who've already had SARS-CoV-2 more easily. Certainly that's not very good news and it could lead to some concerns about vaccines, though it's really important to say we don't have any evidence that vaccines would be effective yet. That's because vaccines coax the human immune system to produce a lot of antibodies, antibodies that might not bind well to the new coronavirus strain. Scientists are rushing to test whether the vaccines made by Moderna and Pfizer still work against the new variants. So far, they appear to work, although Moderna's is slightly less effective against viruses with E484K. The company is making a booster shot specific to that variant. I think Everyone in the field has been wondering, because this is a fast transmitting RNA respiratory virus, if we're going to need to be developing some sort of annual vaccination strategy against it, the way we um, do or have needed for influenza. With influenza, we do have these substitutions. Um, so these amino acid uh, changes that 
allow the viruses to escape immunity a little bit in a lot of people um, every year. And so the vaccine strains are updated to track those substitutions. So the vaccine's a slightly better match you know, than it otherwise would have been. But scientists say it will probably be years before the COVID-19 vaccine stops working, if it ever does. By then, creating a new vaccine and getting it to the people who need it will be relatively simple. In the meantime, social distancing remains the best way to fight the new mutants. We're in a situation where the virus is spreading uncontrollably. So it's not that the virus is necessarily evolving differently or the fundamentals are broken. It's just that the epidemiology is really driving a lot of it, I think. I would not be surprised if we start seeing new variants in other parts of the world that are concerning or that share features with ones we've already identified. If these variants are more transmissible or more contagious then anything you can do to know where they are and you know, put more resources toward containing them is probably the most efficient way to control the epidemic. After all, the more viruses that exist in the world, the greater the chance that one will evolve a dangerous mutation. <laughs>